Hi, my name is Andre Holland, and I am playing the character of Marshall, who's a press secretary here at the, uh, in the White House. Marshall, first of all, who he is is going to be revealed as the episodes, as the season goes along, obviously. But so far, what we know about Marshall is that he is a very smart and accomplished young press secretary uh, who has been working with President Gilchrist, played by Bill Pullman, for quite some time now, before he was president, obviously. And uh, he's, a really, he's really passionate about his job, really good at his job, and, and just wants to do the best he can. One of the big re revelations that we find out, that we just found out actually in this episode that we're currently shooting is that Marshall, without giving too much away, has had a relationship with someone uh, in the White House. That's, that's all I'm gonna say, right? And, <laughs> and uh, I think that how that relationship gets dealt with is gonna be the subject of a number of episodes to come. So I think that we're gonna learn a lot more about who Marshall is through like how he deals with this particular special person. Marshall's been with the family for such a long time that their dynamic is more of a family dynamic, more so than just a sort of professional dynamic. Um, I mean, obviously, like he has his responsibilities as press secretary and, and does a very good job of like being in control of those things. But he also has a personal investment in the success of this particular fam family's um, stay in the White House. So, Skip's a he's an interesting character. That Skip, <laughs> um, I feel like the two of us are our two characters are just sort of polar opposites and. In the pilot, which is I think what you're talking about, there's there are a couple of scenes where I'm trying my absolute best to corral Skip and get him to do a very simple task. What, well, what for me and for most people would be a very simple task, but for Skip, it's the hardest thing in the world. And so I think that putting the two of us together in that way creates all kinds of like just crazy, you know, <laughs> crazy kind of dynamics. So I think that we're gonna see more and more of that as the season goes on too. Well, I think that one of the things that, the first thing that'll make people want to watch the show is that the characters, I feel like, are so sharply drawn. I mean, like, you look at the, you know, the main characters of the show, and they're all so unique and different, even though like, most of them are part of the same family and grew up in the same house. But, like, they all have their own points of view and their own sort of ways of dealing with the world. So I think that alone makes it interesting. But also, you know, what, what we're beginning to discover is that the writers have a real sort of smart way of incorporating these like subtle political um, sort of current event <laughs> ideas into the scripts without them being you know overtly political or, or, or opinionated, but just sort of like layering in some kind of interesting things that make you laugh, but that also make you go, huh, yeah, that is, that's a little more complex than maybe I thought it was, so.